That's the difference in this breeze. You can just carry that bunker. Normally they're fighting it, but I think if you do end up in it, it's not the worst spot. Three wood just leaves you under the hill, leaves you too much to quite an undulating green. Down that one goes. He's had to loft up a little bit with the new driver. It comes out a little lower. All slightly above Rory's feet. So a little bit more right to left in this. Didn't pitch it great at the first. So I want to see something amazing here. Gone for the runner. That's where I thought they'd aim. They're just straight at it. Differing prospects, both for Birdie, though. And unusual. Both putts I read right to left, and they're opposite sides of the hole, which you'll see. But there's very little in these. Yeah. Oh, this is Birdie account, Rory McElroy. He's made hundreds of birdies here over the years. Fifth fairway medal. It's probably a three wood for McElroy. Effortless. Yet efficient. Very much so. 106. McElroy just cutting into the slope, dancing round the hole. Yeah, this is a lot easier for McElroy from where he's coming from. Look straight at it. Not his best. It's still a good opportunity, though. A lovely chance, Kenny. Maybe just drifting left to right at the end. Greens are perfect. You get it gliding on top. They don't miss this week. There's not much wrong with them. And a chance it is, which he takes. McElroy to two under par. Inside the top five now. Now, what have we got to hear from McElroy? He's got a good lie. It's only 234, but like I mentioned about coming up short, there's a little bit of pressure, I think, attached to that, more so for McElroy out of the sand. It's also a right miss from McElroy. Pretty brief shot. So McElroy with his big, big mound to navigate. Not easy to play, he's got a nice lie. But this bit of the green is actually sloping away from him a fraction, so he's got to be so precise here. It'll be glamorous if he pulls it off. It's glamorous. As he clearly tell that that shot was played down grind because he hardly took a divot. He clipped it nicely, the face wide open. Average putts for round. This is last year's DP World Tour Championship. Can McElroy bag this one and move to three under? Of course he can. That's good up and down after missing the green right. For Rory, three birdies. Still looks like he's taking a bit more time to get this right, Wally. Just the one, three, two. Playing less than that off this down slope. It's sometimes shoot. Now that is going to test one of the best players in the world's lagging skills. Once on top, it's actually quite quick, but it's got to give it some to get it there, I think. Left to right most of the way. I mean, it's not easy from 100 feet all uphill, having to manoeuvre through a couple of tiers. It's always going to be difficult to judge the pace and the line correctly. His first drop shot of the day as well. Nice crowd around this tee. Couple left, which I'm surprised about. This one looks like he's heading right, if anything, Morley. Corrected himself. It's long and left, the spin saved him, but 10 yards nearer, which is seems to have been nearly on every tee shot. 104, better angle, mind. Coming up more the sort of throat of the greens. Looking straight at this. Yeah, good one there for McElroy, leaves himself a nice uphill putt. Just a little bit in this. Similar sort of thing to Rams. Shouldn't be a problem, there you go. Thank you very much. Easy hole. He 
to be a long par four, even with a pin that's 41 on. Off the slight upslopes are launching this one, McElroy. Well, he's just trying to hit a half shot there. He's pulled it. It's always the danger when you take the speed out of the body. Poor, poor one from McElroy. McElroy over the back of 12. How did that come out? A little soft. So he'll have that for his part. Ram has a birdie putt. That was a poor one, Rory. Up and out of it. He'll be disappointed that he had a good tee shot. It was an awful second. Body stopped. Blade turned. Long and left. Just gently up the hill. Semi-blind tee shot. They're only really seeing the top third of the flag. Ooh, that'll be a tricky up and down, even if he gets a good lie from there. Got no green to play with, and where he's pitching is a downslope, Rory, so... Lie's OK, it's a little bit straggly, because it's sort of where everyone sits, as you've seen. It's pretty good. However, a bogey at 12, you'll have that for par at 13. I think he's going to oh, miss it. it. Used to be allowed, not anymore. They carry those middle bunkers. It's well worth the risk. But the breeze all of a sudden in out the left. She's picked up. He drove it yesterday in practice. He hang time. Okay, lucky. 295 to clear that bunker. I think Anthony's saying you can just see a bit of air movement, playing a little bit longer, a little breeze in his face. Okay. He's on the flat, in the bowl. Just need to keep the speed up. It will spin. But he clipped it well. Perfection, Ken. A little unlucky. Just skidded off the downslope and kicked to the right. We'll come off his right again, not a lot. I think it's an easier looking putt though than Rams for McElroy. Just the ticket yeah, right. for McElroy. Yeah, right. Back to two on the putt. And back on the attack. Nice work from the world number two. Central bunker to clear. At 320 from here. But this distance, you just got to care if you don't push this tee shot because you can run a little river down there. It flushes it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, he knows. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's always a dangerous club for long hitters. You can reach that water on the right hand side. Gap wedge straight down breeze. Got a little bit to play with between water and pin. Go. Oh. He was downwind. Took the spin off it and it made it carry a little further. It's great to see them uh, side by side. World number two and three. So this is for a half, is that right? Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> off the right alley. Off that top side. But quite quick this. A little tentative, so it is going to be a drop shot. Guaranteed for McElroy. Yeah, it's not very often you see a graphic like this of a <laughs> of a drive that pitches on the rock and then just lands nearby. Rawley. 308. I never saw him going for it. There was a few hand gestures, quite a lot of work in the book, so just a layup. A few times today he's come over the top of a few shots that he was trying to hold left to right. Have you seen, have oh. you ever seen no. two breaks like this in succession, Never. Ken? Not, You've not, done this a long time, right? Not when and water's involved. He's not been in his best day. He sits on one under. Damage limit limitation. Yes. Four points to green. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> must have had 30 yards of cut on it. I have a draw on it. 
five would be a great score. Yeah, not the easiest two putt. No, not absolutely not. With, yeah. A few grain changes. It's quite quick towards the end from about now. He leaves himself an easy putt, but there's still a bit of work left for Rory after quite an eventful 18. Power of the day? Ah, oh, it would be the power of the century. <laughs> yes. It's only a good story, but it's got a good ending. It did for Rory McElroy down the 18th hole there. A scintillating five, round of 71 for him today. Rory, an eventful round of 71, five birdies and four bogeys. Give us your reflections on that one. Yeah, a um, little rusty. Uh, got off to a nice start and then uh, hit a couple of loose shots on the back nine and uh, felt like I was scrambling pretty much the whole way there. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, you know, still only four back. You know, it was a tricky day. The wind was, I think the wind was up in the morning. It settled down a little bit for our front nine and then got up again in the, in the, for our back nine. So, yeah, I've, I can certainly do better. I know that. Um, but it was nice to get uh, one round out of the way and, and hopefully something to build on. Walk us through a very adventurous par at the 18th hole. Two slices of luck, a dilemma. What was going on? I don't know. I, um, I mean, I was hoping that my tee shot was going to miss the hazard right, but I didn't exactly think that it would do what it did. And then, yeah, the second shot from the mulch, um, you know, it just sort of started left on me and, yeah, got another stroke of luck by, you know, it coming back over the bridge. And um, I was a bit in two minds about whether to, try to go left and cut it or go right and I but I felt with the longer club by cutting it I had there was a chance of clipping the bridge on the way through so uh, so I took a wedge and hooded it and just tried to hit it as hard as I could and, and ended up making a good five so um, yeah the, the up and down on 17 and the you know the, the par on 18 was was actually a, a pretty nice way to, to end the day. You made the decision to resign from the PJ Tour policy board can you give us your thinking behind that decision? Yeah, I just think, um, you know, I've just, I've got a lot going on in my life between my golf game, my family, uh, my growing investment portfolio, my, you know, um, involvement in TGL. Um, and like, I just felt like something had to give. Um, I just didn't feel like I could commit the time and the energy uh, into doing that you know I, I i don't mind being busy but you know i just like being busy doing my own stuff so uh something had to give and you know there's 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 guys that are on that board that are spending a lot more time and a lot more energy on it than i am and and you know it's in good hands and it was i felt like it was the right time to to step off i appreciate your time as always play well tomorrow thank you thanks to watch another dp world tour video click here and to subscribe click here